Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth from Organized Chaos and today I'm doing a quick flip through of my planner pages, my monthly and my weekly planning pages in my music teacher um, teacher planner that I also use as my life planner as a parent um, from January to June of 2023. Um, I did a flip through of the first six months of the school year um, from August to December in a previous video, which you can go back and see, but I'm getting ready to set up my planner for the summer. So I wanted to flip through these pages real quick. So, um, we're going to start off with the monthly pages and I'm just going to quickly show you each of those. as well as my dashboard where I keep sticky notes as, and it also serves as a bookmark for the current month, which is June. And then let's go to the weekly pages. Um, so we're starting with January and um, I like to do what I call a little bit of um, functional decorating which means I don't really spend um, a ton of time and I certainly don't have a lot of space on my page to put a bunch of cute stickers and stuff because there's so much information that I have to put on the page with all my lesson plans on top of, you know, extracurriculars for the kids and meal planning and everything else that I keep um, in my planner. But um, I do like to have a little bit. I find that having things marked with different colors and stuff makes it a lot easier for me to find the information I'm looking for when I'm looking at a page. And the whole process of making a, you know, spread each week really helps my brain to organize the information and um, figure out what I'm doing and when I need to get it done and all of that um, helps my brain process everything um, and makes it just easier for me to find what I'm looking for. So um, it's fun, but it also is functional for what I'm doing. Um, this is the last week of school. We had our last day of school on a Tuesday, so I covered up the rest of the lesson planning space and um, put in a little bit of room to, you know, write down things that might be happening, but otherwise just used it for fun decorating. And then I've set up a summer bucket list page. On the next page, I'll be adding in um, my weekly planning pages for summer, which are just a whole week on one page because I don't have lesson plans that I need to keep track of. So I'll set those up um, for summer next, but this will be a good way for me to just brain dump things that come to mind as I think of things that I'd like to get done this summer. Um, and I can keep this at the front of my weekly pages. So that's a quick flip through. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I've used my planner the last six months. If you're interested in finding the printables for all the different pages that you've seen me use along with lots of other lesson planning formats for different music teacher schedules, which I know can get pretty wacky, um, you'll find those in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Um, and just search for hashtag plan my whole life to find all the different versions and formats for you to choose from. You can also leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.